in a relationship and in a marriage, it's all about communication. That's right. And today on the program, we're going to be discussing the topic, Mystery of Language. From our series, The Mysteries of Marriage, stay with us. God wants you to unlock the mystery in marriage so that you can have the passion, the joy, the fun, the excitement, the vision for your marriage. I need her. She has what I don't have, and I have what she doesn't have. And together, if we can stay united and on the same page, I have seen there's nothing more powerful than a husband and wife walking in unity spiritually. Yes. What they can do is unlimited. It is the mystery of marriage. You've got to have a vision for your marriage, and that vision gets shared through communication. But the enemy is always trying to come between men and women and divide us through miscommunication. That's right, because we speak two languages. It is amazing that we perceive different meanings from different words and how we speak. It's amazing the difference in communication between a man and a woman. Yes, and women oftentimes we want to share uh, how we can get somewhere. We want to give insight that we see and ideas because we see in detail. Right. And oftentimes men take that as criticism. Well, men have an ego and <laughs> we had to learn, I had to learn that we're on the same team. Yes. And uh, your details are my details. They become my details in communication. Yes. And I found through mistakes that you were right and I needed the details. And so God had to correct me early in our marriage that she is your help, bud. You need to listen <laughs> because I'm trying to get something to you. And so it is important it that is. we receive both giftings and, uh, and the communication. And I had to learn that I needed your leadership and your big picture logic of what was going on. And so together, we need each other. We need to be able to communicate yes. so that we can have success. God put things in each of you as a husband and wife that are necessary to get right. to the destination. When we learn to honor and speak each other's language, God can do amazing things. Yes. Recently, we taught the mystery of language, and we want to share that with you now. We're talking about the mystery of languages because we yes. want you to unlock the mystery of how to communicate in this time and in your marriage. Yes. There's some yes. things though that are pretty age old, they don't change, but the enemy is so afraid that you're gonna get a hold of how to communicate, yes. how to work with your spouse and stay unified because the power and I don't think most couples experience this as often as God intended, but the power of mm. when you unify one vision, one heart, one voice, and you work together for the kingdom of God together with a vision as a couple, man, there is no stopping what That's you can right. accomplish. That's Let's right. be wise to his scheme. And we're going to uncover the mystery of language. Mystery today. of language. Uh, this is probably pretty familiar, like... I went to a, a baseball game and came home with the, and went to some guys and went to the baseball game, came home. Uh, ladies, what did my wife ask me when I walked in the door? What did you talk about? And guys, what did you feel like when she said that? It's like, talk? We did, did I say something tonight? I can't remember. Guys relate by doing, not talking. So you, there's a difference of how we operate. We need to understand that we have different languages. Which is you know, a key to women. If we will do things with our husband, the things you used to do when you first got together, when you first started seeing each other, yeah, yeah. men start opening up to you as you do things. He wants a wife that will love him enough to do things with him, not just stay home when he goes all the time. And I know when I, we did the bike ride, Gary, a guy, several guys actually came at me, you ride a, a tandem bike with your husband? My wife would never do that. My wife would never do, she used to do. I want to encourage you, ladies, it shouldn't be used to. It should be right. do things with your spouse. So there's a major difference, you know this, between men and women that we need to understand. Ephesians chapter 5, Paul talks about this difference. Ephesians 5, says, However, each one of you also must love his wife as he loves himself, and the wife must respect her husband. Two kinds of languages. The wife speaks love. The husband speaks respect. You have to learn have you ever learned another language or tried to talk to someone that spoke another language? You have to have a translator, right? Well, if you're going to have a great marriage, you need to learn the other language. So let's learn about that. Men and women speak different languages. 
And so in a woman's world, she's always hearing anyone speaking to her or uh, having interaction with her through the filter of love. She's filtering everything she hears through that filter. A man is filtering everything he hears through the honor and respect filter he has. For instance, when a man meets a man, he doesn't say, how's the family? How's little Johnny? He says, what do you do for a living? He is trying to size up this other person to find out how much honor is due him. Whereas a woman talks about relationship when she meets other ladies. So we see a major difference in how we communicate. And so understand this, a husband, a man must have respect and a woman must have love if you're going to be healthy emotionally and have a healthy marriage. Now, has this ever happened to you? I'm going to run through an example here to help you today understand how this interacts now. Uh, so a woman or your wife begins to complain and criticize. Now, that may have happened to a couple of you, but... Now, would we ever do that? <laughs> but it's going to happen. It's going to happen. And so her husband, ladies, listen, your husband is going to interpret that as contempt, as uh, she does not respect me as a person. He will get up and walk away. Now, let me help you understand that because we'll get back here in a minute. But in a man's world, if you escalate conflict, the man has a choice. Either he's going to engage the conflict, which will escalate to fist fighting, or, you know, they, they, you know it just escalates, or he will back out. And so in the, the world of men, honor, men will back out of a conflict situation that he does not want it to escalate. And so we need to understand how men handle that kind of thing. Um, so men walk out. And when he does that, ladies, here's what happens. You know this. Men, you need to know this. It shouts to her that you do not love her and you're not committed to hear her heart and to fix the relationship. All right, guys, she will get louder and louder and repeat the same things over and over and, and then begin to say things she doesn't mean to get your attention. All right, she is crying out for love. All right, so. And she wants to help. She wants she to help. She thinks when she's talking, her heart is to bring answers. She's a fix-it person. She right. adapts and she wants to, if, if she sees something wrong, she wants to, because she sees detail, she wants to help you to go somewhere. And sometimes, ladies, we cross the line. We start treating our husband like our children instead of treating like the man that we married that, we, that needs our respect. Yes. So men, make this note. When she is criticizing or complaining, she is wanting to fix something. All right? And so most Ladies, do not consider this a personal assault on you as a person. Now, one study found that women's heart rate stays slow and steady during this conflict. <laughs> Men's heart rate, however, goes up rapidly because they view it as conflict, whereas she does not. She is engaging the relationship to fix the relationship, all right? Now, Women, the large majority of men feel that you are against them when this happens and that they never can get it right and that they can never be good enough. When husbands were asked, does your wife love you? They said, yes, but she doesn't like me. <laughs> this is true. The majority of men felt that way. Most men would rather hear that I respect you than I love you. A study of 400 men were asked, if you were forced to choose one of the following, which would you uh, choose to endure, to be left alone and unloved, or to feel inadequate and disrespected, 74% said they prefer to be unloved. Now, they also said they prefer to live with a wife who did not love them but respected them rather than a wife who loved them but did not respect them. Wow, that's, that's huge. A study of marriage relationships stated that in an argument, 81% of the men withdraw and feel disrespected. Men are made for honor. Let's understand men. Men are made for honor. They'll lay their life down on the battleground. They'll, they'll, they'll defend their family. They live in a world of honor, and this is the world they think and they live in. Studies show that 85% of men will get quiet during conflict, which a wife cannot understand, right, ladies? Because it interpreted says, I do not love you. Right, ladies? That's right. We want, you, we want you to engage and talk to us. So to walk away says, you don't love me. But it's truly your way of not engaging a well, fight. Well, it's the wrong right? way in this relationship, right. all right? I we agree. need to talk about that later. I a agree. shocking statement, ladies, is your marriage cannot survive on love alone. 
This is a shocking statement to some ladies. This is the truth. In fact, uh, you don't find any greeting cards in the stores talking about respecting the husband because women write the greeting cards, they buy the greeting cards, and they think that they're writing from their filter when they write the greeting cards, and so they miss it, all right? Most women think it is their love that won their, their man, but that is not true. Little boys show off for little girls, not for love, but for admiration. Little boys become big boys, same difference. Men, <laughs> say, seriously, men, um, they want your admiration, all right? They, they want your admiration. Your admiration is what won your husband, not your love. Why do men not like marriage conferences? Because it's all about love, and they fail at that, and it's not about respect, and so men don't want to be drugged to a marriage conference to learn how bad they're doing. <laughs> this is a true story. Ask your husband about it. Uh, now, let's go on. Uh, so I'm going to help you understand how to get your needs met, both sides, which is basically sowing and reaping, of course. The more respect you show ladies, the closer he'll get. Men, the more love you show to your wife, the closer she gets. And so you can do an experiment. You go home this week. You can, uh, if your husband's walking through the house, you can just say, hey, I really respect you. You'll find he'll stop and he will say, what did you say? <laughs> and then he'll get closer. And if you continue on, he'll actually probably stop what he's doing and actually probably come closer to you. The same applies to the ladies. If you say, you know, how much you love her and she'll stop. Drenda always does. If I say I love you, she'll say, what did you say? I know she can quote everything I said. She just wants to hear it again. Right. And, and I want him great. to go into detail. Tell me all the ways in which you love me. Right. <laughs> Shakespeare had it right. How do I love thee? Let me count the she ways. She wants all the adjectives, so. the root word, meaning <laughs> everything. That, uh, you Bottom know, I, line is, guys, you can't tell a woman how much you admire her, respect her, adore her, love her, cherish her, and 15 times a day would not be too many. So I learned early on in our marriage that uh, how do I look if I said, oh, you look, you look good. That's not that's Not, not good, ladies, not, right? And the word pretty good. good even is below that. And so if you say to a woman, she says, how's this? And you say, pretty good. She's like, no, I'm going to change. Or that, that, that's not good at all. We want to hear words that are like galactical words. Actually, so what true. you watched on Star Trek, use some of those words. But anyway, we've got to have something that's way out there. We want new words also, new ways. Women are so multifaceted. We are complex, I know, but it's worth the effort. I remember you had, she had to actually coach me how to say the things that she wanted to hear because men don't talk that way typically, you know? You know, if you see a man, you know, and just, how's your day going? Oh, this, this is an amazing, just the smells and the sights. I mean, it's just, <laughs> I mean, if a man starts talking like that, all these adjectives, it's just like men are a headline, you know? So she had to <laughs> teach me how to talk to her, all right? That's why we love poetry. One of the more romantic things Gary's done for me is he bought me this book and it's full of sonnets and poems and, and it was inlaid with gold and my name on it and I love you and, and he would read those to me and I was like, this is amazing, wow. I kept saying, who told you to do this? <laughs> it was so good and he was impressed. No one that, did. No, he just came up with it on his own. But uh, it, he was impressed that it was all inlaid with gold. I was impressed with the gold inside of it. So we like to hear those words of love. And if you don't say those words any other time, guys, at least say them to your wife every day. Hi, I'm Gary Cassie, and you will never fulfill your destiny until you fix your money thing. Visit GaryCassie.com, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more amazing weekly videos on fixing your money thing. And thanks for watching.